this brings us to board members' report. I, if I may, I'd like to give my time to uh, Hawkins EMS. Uh, I had emailed a letter on that if I get it, I emailed it. Just a letter. Okay. We had an email a request saying we found a need in Hopkins County that we had a while. Um, I know last year kind of started, Roy had brought a bus that with us on a fire scene. And it's continually increased. Uh, the need for a rehab unit on the, a lot of these scenes where we're on scene for a few hours at a time. We've got stuff designed for days that so we don't have anything for just hours, like two, three, four hour uh, same time. So uh, I've sent a request in for like the, uh, are they called short bus or small bus? I can't remember how it was but something we could, uh, uh, if our surplus in one, we could get to uh, kind of remodel it, put some uh, rehab station in and kind of a sitting area, make it heat cool. Uh, these firefighters, we, uh, I had noted two fire scenes in July, when we had treated over 20 firefighters on the scene, uh, five of them required long-term treatment on the scene, and then we had to transport one to the hospital. Like that. Uh, what we're doing currently, we've started a new fire rehab protocol where uh, anybody that's on an air pack that's over one bottle of time, we have to assess their vitals, check them, and we're finding a lot of these firefighters are coming out of these fires with heart rates like 170 or higher, which normal is 80 to 100. Um, blood pressures, it's just out the roof. We're having to settle down. And right now we're just having to settle down in the yards in front of a little fan or something, whatever we can do to find to do this. So we're kind of an urgent need of something that doesn't matter for we keep maybe out of the heat of weather, uh, give them some rehab. Cool them off, warm them up in the winter time. And uh, just was asking you all, you know, if you have a surplus bus of that type, we could remodel to do that. That's kind of an urgent need. Something long term that we was looking at, uh, another thought we had Washington County EMS has a, you know, a big bus. It's for a mass casualty, like for multiple patients. That's something that's not available in this area. We have to call it out Johnson City. Uh, something that's something long term that we'd like to all consider also. We would like to get this and go on and fix if we get was able to do one and then maybe turn back and start on something like that before we can put I think Washington County has like eight stretchers in it where they can transport up eight patients to a hospital. It is available here, but it's drive time for you to cut somebody called in and get in front of John City Two here. Uh, that's something that would be available to the entire region of this side, you know. Hawkins County primarily handling Hancock. This in Salt County with it in the middle of the So it's kind of two requests in one, but one is an urgent need because you know, our firefighters and uh, even law enforcement on some of these standoffs that they have and something we can utilize on those, uh, rescue squad, some of the searches they have. Um, they're called out, you know, two, three, four hours at a time, and it's not feasible to bring out the full rehab units for them. So the urgent need would be in a short bus that we could, you know, get to get on the road and get it operational and rehab this thing efficiently on scene. And uh, another thing you know, it would help now too is we're having to tie the ambulance sitting on scene, which could be transporting urgent needs and stuff. And uh, you know, and then if we put anybody in, it contaminates in front, so we have to clean it before the next patient and the next, you know. So it, it's just all around would be a great beneficial to Hopkins County first responders and all of them. That's just kind of uh, what I did. If anybody would like to talk this later, I'll leave it for you. I thought, I kind of went through the uh, friend that had me to this, so I thought you got sent to everyone. I'm sorry about that. That was all talking. But that's just kind of my request. Thank you. Mr. McCarty, could you inform us on the board well, here it's going to be the county and municipality, and we can definitely do it under 49 to, I'm sorry, 49 6, that's 2006. Basically, the board, if it determines to a vote and motion that it wants to transfer surplus property, here that would be a bus that we can't use anymore for various reasons. 
to a county or municipality, we, we can do that without bid requirements and really just allow it for more than there's a need for it in the community to do that. So that's no problem also. Okay. And again, there's, as Matt knows, there's going to be a lot of situations now, especially with the new requirements for mileage on these buses. We're going to have more surplus buses than we probably have in the past. So those needs shouldn't be an issue. We're going to have to dispose of them, and obviously we want to do that in a way that benefits the county. Yeah. No problem with that. Do we have a surplus smaller bus that uh, was referenced? We actually had one coming off this school year. Uh, we're only allowed to have them for 15 years. It doesn't matter what the mileage is. So after 15 years for the short buses, we have to uh, take them off the road. So we have actually one coming off this school year. Great. I'll make the motion that you approve the next small bus that rolls off within the next Southeast County. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. Any further discussion? If none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? The next one that comes available will be on you guys. We appreciate it very much. I want to thank the board for considering that. And I know a lot of the first responders I've discussed with, they appreciate it also. We've told the idea of the past. Let's stay in touch this year uh, as we get closer to the end of the year and we roll that off. The board takes action to declare that surplus and, and as a gift to you, I'll work with Mr. McCarty to make sure we do it right. And then we'll be in discussion with any larger school bus for the one we need. And if the board uh, takes similar action on it, now we know the process and we can go uh, into that. And, and the large one's not. I mean, it's just something. Okay. The other one will be used frequently. That's just something that's, in, that's an emergency. Okay. We can make it painless for the title transfer and everything. That's no problem whatsoever. So we have to do that one extra step like Rick was saying about the parent surplus. So that's not the issue. Right. right. At that time. That's right. Yes, Just wanted to show our support for what you're trying to do for the county. We appreciate it. So thank you.